Julie and welcome back to my channel. I have been so intrigued on art quilting and improv or intuitive quilting where you don't really have a pattern, you just kind of wing it. Um, I've been learning, like I'm a newbie, but, but I have been learning um, and, and learning from my mistakes, which is like all part of it, right? Um, the gal that I've really been inspired by is Jean Wells. She has a few videos that I will link down below and also she um, has a couple books um, and I will see if I can find and link one or a couple of her books as well. The one in particular that I really um, was inspired by is called Intuitive Color and Design. Um, she's just such a master and I, and I hope you can be, have some, the, some of the same inspiration. In this particular video, I'm going to be sharing, you, sharing with you some of her techniques on how to make this gentle um, curve quilting and also some of the accent pieces that she does and also like the, the tiny little slivers of color that she adds. Um, this is really a, a, quite a simple and easy technique um, I, and it has just really fun results. So in this video I'm going I'm to be sharing some of the, the techniques and then in my next video I wanted to share with you how I actually went ahead and, and completed this particular art quilt. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you much to everybody who's joined me. Let's get started. I've chosen my colors and I have these strips measuring 12 inches long by approximately two to three inches wide. I wanted to share this cream color. It is, has a lot of texture to it and has little bubbles. And I use that look later on in my art quilt. These are my accent pieces and these are those tiny skinny strips and they're measured three fourths of an inch wide. And then I did some strips, just patched, just did some patching on some of the strips. Let's get started on the, on the gentle curve method. I thought this was so easy and fun to do. You do not use a ruler, but you do use your rotary cutter. And you need a sharp blade for this. And I am just cutting a gentle curve. My right sides of my fabric are both up. And I'm going to layer that right over the top of that right hand fabric, that green, and then gently cutting the exact curve. Removing that little bottom scrap there and then flipping them over so right sides are together. Now look, look how they're not matching at all and that's how they have to be otherwise the curves are not going to go together right. I'm at my sewing machine I just have a little starter fabric there. You do want to have your stitch length quite small. I mine is at a at a 1.8 or a 2. Um, I don't back stitch, and so you do want to have your your stitch a little bit closer together. Now I don't use pins at all. You just want to make sure that your your right hand sides are matching. So you just stitch maybe a half inch to three-fourths of an inch and then you stop you move that bottom layer to the left and that top layer to the right so your right hand sides are together and then I'll go ahead and stitch another half inch or so and then reposition I did find that it's easy to stretch that top layer and you do not want to do that you just let it naturally um, lay the way, way, the way it needs to lay. Don't stretch it. And I'm almost to the end here. And then I'm going to take another one of these little pieces of fabric for the ending there for my start point next time around. Just clipping that. And you can see what it's going to look like. It lays really flat. Um, I do press my seams so that all the seams are going one direction. Um, you don't want to you don't want to um, open up your seams. They're not going to lay flat. And then onto my next piece, very much the same way, just doing that gentle curve. You want to vary your curves as much as you can. I, I, it's, it's, you have a tendency to do the same curve every time. And then again, laying it just barely over the edge 
and then cutting the next strip out. I'm going to take this back to my sewing machine and share one more time at a different angle so you can maybe see it a little bit better. Again, your top is together and your right hand sides match. And then you just go slow and stitch maybe a half inch or so and then reposition. And here we are, again, pressing those seams to one, one side. I wanted to share how to put this tiny strip in. Now this strip is cut at 3 fourths of an inch. And I am going to go ahead and do my gentle curve on that blue strip. But I'm not going to cut my um, tiny strip. I thought you'll find that these narrow strips are easy to um, curve without having without having to cut them. I'm just going to take this to my sewing machine and sew it much the same way as my other strips. Just getting everything lined up on the top and on the right hand side. And then just gently moving everything over so that, that it matches. Now this part is a little bit different on these tiny strips. You want to take a marking pencil. You can use a, a lead pencil or your water soluble. I'm using a heat erase pen, but you're drawing on the wrong side of your fabric, so you're probably not going to see it. Um, and what I am doing is drawing in my stitch line, and I'm doing a gentle curve, but I'm also going really close to my initial stitch. It'll almost completely disappear when you do that, and it really adds a, a neat look. So I'm just stitching, or excuse me, I am just drawing in that stitch line. Once that stitch line is drawn on, you want to take your rotary cutter and cut a, about a quarter of an inch away from that, that line or that you've drawn on. This is going to be your seam allowance. You're going to be doing a, four, a quarter of an inch seam allowance here. So you can see it has that gentle curve. And then I'm going to cut my next piece pretty much the same way that I did the other ones. Just lay it on top, take my rotary cutter, and cut that gentle um, curve. Flip it over. But then I'm going to flip it over again so I can see that stitch line. And I'm going to stitch right on that line. This looks like it's fiddly, but it's really quite easy to do because I can I see my, where I'm stitching. I, can, I drew that little line on there, and I'm just following that. And sometimes I'm getting really close to my previous stitch line and that's where those that this color is going to almost completely disappear and here it looks you can kind of get the idea and then it's on just adding more strips this one is one of them that I've patched doing it the same way just cutting my curve off, off of my piece on the left And then we'll be adding this one in the same in the same way, just cutting this out. I just kept adding strips. I think my entire piece ended up being approximately 36 inches long. Um, you're going to see it here in a little bit. I'll show it to you. But I also um, not only got a mini quilt out of this, but I have got a lot of different projects. And so I'll show you some of those too in my next video. And I'll also show you how I cut this um, to create my mini quilt.
I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can use this technique some in some of your projects. Um, give it a try. It's really easy, but it has a really fun, um, fun look. Thanks everybody who's joined me. Have a great day. Bye for now.